Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a great week. It is the weekend here in Southern California, and it's time to have fun yet again with the Hainveer all-wheel dual motor e-bike. Today, we're going to be climbing some mountains. I'm going to show you how I reached 39 miles an hour with the Hainveer. With no additional commentary, I'm going to leave you with some raw footage of my mountain climbing attempt uh, using both the all-wheel drive mode and without the all-wheel drive mode. So enjoy, let's do it. Whoa, so this is an all-wheel drive. Man, this thing got so much power. I mean, you, you barely hold the throttle in it and off it goes. Oh. <laughs> it's really such a different feeling with all-wheel drive. You feel the power. You feel the torque. Nothing is in your way. No amount of hills will be an issue for you. Okay, so, so far I'm not pedaling at all, and I'm in all-wheel drive. Um, I think I'm just gonna be in all-wheel drive all the time. As a first test, you know? I'm, I'm not even pedaling right now. And, you know, the suspension feels great, even though the front forks are locked. The rear is uh, still doing its job. And I don't feel like the ride is too mushy, you know? Okay, let's go a little faster. But I don't want to go too fast because there are other bikes that are going back and forth. It's not a one-way street. So, whoa, man, fat tire bikes make a big difference, to be honest with you. Okay, here we go. And you know, guys, I would always use both brakes at the same time when uh, braking downhill. It's just much safer. You don't want to make a mistake and use the front and uh, do a flip or something, you know? All right. All right. Now there's a hill up here that I would like to climb. Snow pedal assist. Thirteen miles, twelve miles. Of course, if you pedal, it'll go much more. Fifteen, sixteen. Whoa. It just goes. Uh. 
The bike is definitely taking it. Wow. Oh. Uh. Now, I hear a noise from the front when you hit a big dip. And uh, that's the uh, front fender touching the front light. Now, I would do like a couple adjustments on the light so it never touches like that. But that's just the reality of having a fender in the front. Whoa. These are like the, this is like the perfect road. This is like the perfect path for this bike. The fat tires are doing their job and keeping you steady. Uh, the rear suspension is doing a great job in keeping my butt comfortable. You know, I, I even even the first day that I rode it, the seat was so comfortable I did not get a cramp. So I like the fact that we're going downhill because I want to test this baby uphill with the dual motors and then I want to test it again with one motor. No. <laughs> I never really went off-roading like this in any bike before simply because all my bikes would be skinny tires 16 inch but this one is really taking all the blunt forces uh i don't hear no uh creaks no cracks uh, no rattling this thing is built very very steady very very steady and i'm not saying that because i paid 1500 dollars for it <laughs> You know, if, if it was a bad bike, I would return it. Yeah. Wow. Holy moly. Okay. Now, this is a hill that I would want to go up to test this baby. It's really steep. <laughs> Oh my god. How am I going to get up here? How am I going to get back up? 